Okay, so here we have a Philips Pronto TSU 3000 remote control that I just bought off of eBay. The touch screen is not working properly. You can touch it to wake it up, but anything you try to push, it does not respond to. This is the classic problem that is seen on the forums, and so we're going to attempt to fix it. The tools are laid out here. We just need a T6 wrench, a sharp knife, and a small screwdriver. So let's get started. First you want to flip it over, push this down, and you can slide this back panel off and set it aside. You won't need that for a while. And you'll find the battery pack, or if you have batteries in it, you'll find the batteries. Um, so you can take that out. Well, first you would want to unplug it. And set that to the side also, as we won't need that. Now there are a few screws we have to take off now. Um, there's one here, one here, one here, and one here. So, let's do that with our, again it's a uh, T6, it's a T6 wrench. Now, we can start to pry this thing apart. So what I do, now you want to be really careful with this, and it would probably be even better if you had something thin and, and plastic instead of metal, because when you do this, it will slightly uh, mess up the plastic. So just be careful, go slow, take your time. Um, you, you don't want to damage you know, the plastic too much. You see how it's starting to pop out there? So if you kind of work your, work your way around, it should eventually come all apart. So let's try to go slow and pry this thing off. Or pry it apart, I should say. So you see it is coming apart. And just, just be careful. Make sure you're holding the remote really well because you don't want to drop it, of course. Okay, so I think I got it mostly apart. You see how it's coming apart on all the edges now? So I'm going to try to carefully actually take it apart now. And now you're left with this piece, um, which is the main circuit board. And then you have this little piece. This piece comes off too, so I think... At that point, or at this point, we should probably take this off. But notice how it goes in. It's kind of clipped, kind of clipped in between. You know, maybe I'll leave it on for now, actually. Um, what we got to worry about now is one screw, right? I don't know if you, it's kind of hard to see, but right there is the screw. And it's the same, it's the same T6 screw, so let's take that off now. Listen carefully, you don't want to slip and jam your circuit board here. And we also don't want to lose any screws, so just let it drop carefully if it needs to. So now, you see, you can see these gray uh, cylinder looking things. They're, they're plastic that's coming from this outer, from this plastic piece. So now, theoretically, that we get that screw off, we can lift this board out. You know, now that wants to come out. So we'll let that come out now. Just set it aside also. I was getting stuck here. Okay, there it goes. So, and kind of note when you do this, note how everything connects together because obviously we want to put it back correctly. Okay, and this is the uh, another this kind of is a spacer between this plastic bezel and then 
this blue gray piece of plastic so just don't forget about that too. Now we can take that apart like that and set this aside. Okay, so we're almost there. So we're left. Oh, and don't, don't touch. Hold on. This is another piece that comes off. These are the buttons, the hard buttons, some of the hard buttons. It's just on its own uh, little membrane. Um, so you can set that aside too if you want. Um, don't touch any part of the circuit board, the circuitry here, as you can easily um, basically destroy any of these chips or other components with your static electricity in your in your body. So always try to hold this thing from the side. Never never grab it like this or like this. So hold it like hold it this way from the edges. I'm just trying to clean my screen. And now we can take this blue gray piece off. I believe. It should come off fairly easily too. But just again, be, be careful, be, go slow if you have to. Okay, there we go. Hope I didn't break it. It doesn't look like it. So, with that out of the way, put that to the side also. Now we have just this board. And then the, the screen, also dirty. I'll have to clean that later or something. But anyways, what we're really trying to get out here is this, do you see these four squares right here? Let me see if I can give a better, better picture here. So there's four dark squares up here. Hopefully you can see that. But those four squares are the key to fixing this thing. So what we're going to do is take a knife, a sharp knife, and we're going to just make a few, um, a few slight pin pricks. So I'm going to zoom in for a little bit here. And each, like maybe, maybe about three pin, pin pricks in each little four dark squares. Nice and solid. There's one. Now, I, I, I'm not sure what exactly this is doing. Supposedly it's allowing this this connector here to make contact with, you know, these these lines, which are, um, you know, electrical lines, basically, uh, connecting to the rest of the, the rest of the electronics. You know, the, the screen to the rest of the electronics. Um, supposedly doing this somehow helps make that connection. I don't know if it's it can't. I don't see how it be, could be the holes themselves, but maybe more. That you're pushing down on these now kind of makes the connection better. So um, that's all there is actually to do. So we can actually put this back together and hope that it works. We can start to put this back together. So we're basically just going to reverse the process. So I'm just going to put this back. Hopefully, I can get this right. I'll probably go back later and clean everything again. If this if this worked, I'll just take it apart again. See, that looks like it. Fit. That looks like it went in. I see there's there's little holes that this plastic piece has to go into. See, like there's. Not sure if you can see that, but there's one there, one there, and then. Um, there's a one up, then there's one up here, right there. So you just gotta make sure that they, they all can go into those holes. That's part of the trick to this. Okay. 
so that looks like it's on. Now we can put this little clear piece in. Um, I believe it was like this. So you see you have these notches. Um, that goes on the bottom. And then I'll, it's, this is going to be hard to tell, but, but there's a curvature on this side, on this little corner, and a curvature here on this corner. And that's going to match up to this curve and this curve. So you put it in like, like this as opposed to being like, like this. So let's put that in right there, just just hit rest there for now. And then <clears throat> we want to make sure we have the buttons in place. So just you put this back in its approximate place. And don't worry, it's supposed to slide around like that. Um, now we can maybe put this on here. I don't remember exactly how this all stays together. So let's try it this way and see if this works first. So we got a few loose pieces. We have this piece, this piece, and this piece. Um, if we can get them all to stay together. While we attempt to put this on, we'll be in good shape. So, just kind of put this around. See, so it seems like it's working here, right? So everything fits together quite nicely. Um, and that, that's helping keep this on. So, let's see. them all in first. So that's all together. Now let's put our battery pack in. Make sure we so that's in there good, and then we got it connected, of course. And then you'll hear the beeps um, turning back on. Now, just make sure that you see this notch, this white notch on this side. This lines up with that notch on the left-hand side of the the, ma the mating connector. So just make sure you match that up because that way we got the right wires in the right position. You don't want to try to force it the other way. So let's keep it that way. Plug it in. So you hear that beep, and just kind of tuck that, tuck that in down there, so that we don't, you know, when we slide the cover back on, we don't catch the wires. And so let's take our back cover on. Yeah. So it just kind of drops in at about this far. See how it's off? It's offset. Push down, and you can slide it in, and it snaps, and it kind of slides in slides right in and see so now that's on now we have the moment of truth did this work I have no idea so that works and what do you know it works everything seems like it's working so that little fix worked once again for me so I hope you were able to follow this and I hope that this can work for you. Thanks for watching.